Well, Rob, uh, we're halfway through pre-season and the, uh, the games are looming large on the horizon, but how pleased have you been with the boys so far? Uh, oh, it's, been, well, it's been fantastic. I think we're exactly where we want to be. We've had a meeting this morning now that we're back in after the week off and just said, you know, this is, this is the way you start to kind of build the attitude and the emotion that we want to see in our team and in our players going into games, you know, going into that first game at Leicester. So they'll have an opportunity to play over the next month. Uh, the guys who show the right attitude, the right commitment, and obviously, you know, come through strongly for us. The guys who, who will play at Leicester. That's very much how we based last season. It's what we'll do again. Uh, I think now, you know, the, as you say, the season kind of starts in earnest. And for me personally, this is the time of year you, re you really want to get stuck into. I'm really looking forward for us to go into Connacht and, and see what they perform like on the on the rugby pitch. But obviously, before that, we've got this second round of testing, and then two weeks of pretty intense rugby in, in preparation for what will be a very tough fixture. Previously, you said how pleased you were with the, the way the boys came back and the, the condition they were already in. It meant you could get on with a, a lot of other things before, you know, just yeah. rather just running around. Well, testing this morning has kind of backed that up. Uh, most of the guys are a, a fair bit sharper, you know, speed-wise. Uh, power scores are kind of again, you know, you know, topping out really. So, and we've had a couple of you know personal bests in the gym. So, you know, a couple of records of tumble, which is always nice to see. And uh, you know, it, it, we're kind of at that stage of the year now where guys just have to start stepping forward. That's very much what we've outlined them now. You know, we've had that kind of period where it's about conditioning and it's about just getting your head down and getting some hard graft done. Now it's about just building that attitude to kind of harden us off as a team. You know, and that relies on the individuals really taking that on board. Uh, relies on them understanding that they have a very big influence on the things around them and, and making sure that they're, they're now good team men and uh, they understand what Exeter is about and Exeter is about being a competitive team in the Premiership and we've got to start seeing that now across the squad. It's nice, we've got a month to build towards it. Like I say, we've got three very good fixtures and I'm sure by the end of them we'll be in a very, uh, a very tough competitive frame of mind. Twelve months ago it was a whole new experience for everyone at the club. Uh, Twelve months down the line, hmm. where are we now? I think physically we're, we've moved on again, which is fantastic. You know, great work from the players and, and the conditioning staff. I think uh, the quality of the squad has taken another notch, another step forward, which is very important for us. We've got to make sure we try and do that year on year, and, I, and that's why I keep saying that to the guys. You know, the, the crucial thing for us to do is get our attitude right. You know, I think if you if you get that wrong heading into that second year, if you take your foot off the pedal at all, that, that's when you struggle a little bit. If you start uh, looking at it the other way around and saying, well, there are things for us to achieve, if we get our, our frame of mind right and we really attack this season, it, you know, we can have a very good season. So, so for me, that's a crucial area. Now, the crucial area is not so much how we move on physically, not probably, maybe even so much how we move on rugby-wise. I think, I think we feel we're well down that line. Now it's just about getting ourselves really well set for a really tough season. You know, the Premiership is talked about kind of all over the world as the most competitive uh, league in world rugby. There's a reason for that. That's because it's hard to get one league point, let alone you know, as many as you need to have had a good season. So you know, we're very, very aware that we're going to have to go out and fight for every single league point. And that's what we're going to be drumming home as a team, that uh, we have to perform well, we have to be tough, and we have to be playing at our best to get anything out of the season. And, and that's what we'll, we'll aim to do over the next month. Over the next few weeks, though, there are these three pre-season games. And um, we've talked about them before, that Connell, Pirates and Scarlets will provide you with different tests in mm. different ways. Yeah, that's right. I think it's a, it's a good fixture for us first to be going over to Ireland. We'll take quite a large squad over there. Most of the guys who go will get some decent game time. I think that's important. You know, we need to get some good game time into the boys before we play Leicester. But it also gives a chance for the boys to be away for a couple of days and a little bit of bonding. And it, it always works well around a good, tough rugby fixture. Uh, you know, the, the guys will get to know each other a little bit better. The new guys will really be starting to spend a lot of quality time with the, with the rest of the squad. It also gives us as coaches that, that chance to really spend some time with the boys and see how they prepare running into games, making sure mindsets are correct, seeing how they interact with each other, which guys start coming through of leaders, as leaders. And I think, you know, that, that's very important for us. And then obviously Pirates away, you know, nobody needs to tell me what tough fixture that can be down there. You know, they'll obviously want to play very well against us as a premiership side. And that's why we want want to play them we know it would be a tough fixture and then we round off with what will ultimately be the final game running into Leicester where you know we'll, we'll almost certainly pick our, our best starting 15 as uh, in preparation for that game so some really good fixtures for us nice interesting time of the year that it's just it's just going to be it's just going to be nice to see how everyone gets on over the next month you talked about bonding as well you've done various things this uh, summer as well mm. including going out on the moors and that how important is it has it been to 
people talked about it last year how together the squad was, but getting those new guys in, bonded in and, and gelled in as well. Yeah. I mean, to me, it's probably the most important thing you do in pre season. Uh, obviously, you know, everyone, you know, no one's stupid, you've got to be fit, you've got to be strong, you've got to have your basics of your game well, well in place. But you need to have a group of players who are going to work very hard for each other and, and want to work hard for each other and want to work hard for the club and want to be part of Exeter Chiefs history in the Premiership. And for me, that's what we spend a lot of time on in pre-season. It's what we'll spend a lot of time on through the season. Uh, we talk at length to the boys about how important it is for them to, as I say, to be good people within the squad and uh, not to underestimate the influence they have on each other. And I think if we get that right over the next month, uh, we'll enter the season very confidently. Yeah. Thank you.